guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a great day today so i'm back with some new arrivals from mccart they never disappoint they're always coming out with something new that's what i love about them so yeah they just released these two um valentine's day themed um gel polish sets by awesome color they each have like six different shades in them which i'll be unboxing them in a minute and i did do some swatches off camera so that you guys can see what they look like and they also did release this um mini uv led lamp the other day as well this is also an awesome color um lamp um if you guys watch my channel a lot you know that i love using these little um mini uv led lamps they're just so convenient when you're doing like poly gel sets or when you're doing nail art for like flash curing and stuff like that so you don't have to keep putting your hand in like the bigger lamp so yeah i absolutely love these things so this is what the lamp looks like it's kind of like this peachy like pink nude color which is super pretty and it says awesome color on it and it also has like these little legs at the bottom which i can never get open with my long nails that's why i'm always using scissors but yeah it has like six little led lights on there and then it does plug in by usb i'll be using that little lamp um in the video today um just so you guys can like see how it works and everything like that plus i would use it anyway um because i'm doing like a poly gel set so yeah this is the messy in love um gel polish set at first i couldn't really figure out how to open this box but i guess you have to like open the sides and then the top flips up because the foam is like in there really good and it won't slide out so yeah this one comes with like six different shades um you do get like four solid shades and then like two glitter shades and these are eight milliliter bottles and i'm loving the new bottle design it just looks like so unique i just love the way it looks like with the rounded top and like the rounded bottle i love the like little um chunky handle and the packaging is super cute the names are so cute as well they're like valentine's day themed and the thing that i like about these colors is that you can definitely like wear them all year round um you don't have to just wear them for like valentine's day or whatever so yeah this is what the brush looks like it's a pretty decent size for your nails so yeah this one has like more like deeper shades um and then the naked in love um gel polish set has more like lighter shades like i would say like more like nude type of shades and then there's also like some more glitter shades in this one as well which i'm all here for it and this one also has the same um bottle type design this is like a new bottle design i've never seen this one yet um with the awesome color gel polishes so yeah as you can see this one comes with a lot more shimmery shades there's like four shimmery shades and then two like nude color shades all right so here are all the swatches like i said i did them off camera just to save time in the video because we're doing a tutorial today but i'm absolutely in love with all these colors i really can't decide which kit i like the best i have a, like a love for both of them i really love the deeper tones in the first kit and then the glittery shades but i also really love like the nude like peachy shades in the um naked in love kit and i really love the shimmery shades in that kit because they're really unique looking they're kind of like a duo chrome like shimmery shades i don't know they're really really pretty um i did two coats of each color and one coat of top coat they're super pigmented the polish is like really really nice and thick so they would be good for like nail art or whatever um because they won't like run all over your nails and i'm actually going to be using them in the video um like that today but yeah i can't decide which one of these kits is my favorite let me know which one you guys like the best i just love all the colors and i like how they're like not too valentine's where you can like definitely wear these all year round and like i said the shimmery shades and the naked and love kit are so pretty especially that like bronzy one with the gold shift they're really unique they have like i don't know like i said like a duo chrome kind of look to it but shimmery they're just so so pretty 
but yeah as always the links and my discount code will be down below if you guys are interested in any of these after the video but yeah moving on to the tutorial um, I decided to be a little bit creative today and I'm actually going to be making my own milky white poly gel with some of the McCart poly gel that I already have so I'm just taking like a big blob of the clear from McCart and then this um, color called carnation it's like a white shade um, and I'm just like mixing them together you only need a small amount of white and you just mix that together um, and don't mind my nails I did you know leave a little bit of my last set on them as always but I do make sure to remove um, all the product around the cuticle area but I didn't fully remove it because I'm literally going in with the same exact nail bed color and I'm not going to be keeping this set on for long so yeah don't mind that but we're about to tighten these nails up and make them look really cute so yeah I'm going in with um, a layer of dehydrator two coats of primer i use me a secret dehydrator young nails protein bond um, and i did go ahead and shape up my nail tips and everything off camera and then i applied a layer of base gel you always want to do that to protect your natural nails and give that like gel something to grip onto and then i'm just using the spatula on the other end of my poly gel brush this is a poly gel brush that came with one of the mccart poly gel kits and I'm applying like a thin layer of this milky white poly gel that I just made to the tip of the nails. Um, which is kind of like obsolete that I made this color because I do end up covering it up. But one of the reasons I ended up covering it up, which you guys probably can't notice too much on camera. But in person you can notice it more. The poly gel was a little bit streaky because I didn't mix it all the way. So just if you ever wanted to make milky white poly gel make sure that you stir it like all the way i guess i was kind of rushing and i didn't really think about that so it did look like a little bit marbly on the nails i mean it was still a cute look but not the look that i was going for so later on in the video i do actually end up topping it with um one of the shimmery shades from the naked in love poly gel kit that's a good thing about those glittery shades as well you can use them as a topper and I'm kind of glad that I did mess this up because after I put that thin layer of the pink shimmery shade on it, it just gave like this really nice like frosted pink look in the background of the nails. And I just think it looks so much better with that. Like now that I think about it, I really don't think this set would have looked good with just plain white in the background. So yeah, I'm kind of glad that I made that mistake because it turned into something even better. So yeah you always can think of something to fix something if you know what i mean um after i flash cure the tip of the nails um i'm going in with this nude pink shade this is actually from the mccart um new valentine's day hooked on love poly gel kit this is called puppy love it's like a nude pink shade and i'm going to be doing like an ombre on these nails um i'm going to be encapsulating these nails so i'm not applying like really thick layers they're going to be like really thin um, so that when I encapsulate, they're not super bulky or whatever. So yeah, I'm just taking a small bead of that. And basically, I start by the cuticle. And like I pat side to side. And then when I get to where the tip and the natural nail meet, I just brush the poly gel down into that milky white color. They blend like so seamlessly together. And then I did go ahead and cure my nails in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm taking these little um, Old English um, pink letters. Um, they're like nail decals that I got from Limited Edition Nails on Etsy. I had these for a while, just haven't used them. And I was like, what better time to use them for like Valentine's Day? So I had the thought to put love on my nails, but I was like, that's just like too basic. Like everybody always puts love on their nails. Like I don't want to be like everybody else. I want to be different. So you know what popped in my head? That brownstone song, Baby Love. So I was like baby love that's what i'm gonna put on my nails so yeah that's where the inspiration for that came from um i'm like a lover of old school r&b if you guys couldn't tell by like you know some of the music that i have on my channel of course i can't put like what i really like but you know similar stuff but yeah um so yeah you just like soak the little um decals in the water for like a couple of seconds you really don't need to for a while because they slide off the backing so fast like I almost thought I was gonna tear one of them because I couldn't get it out fast enough so yeah 
just keep that in mind just like place them on a paper towel to soak off the like um water and now i'm going in with um the light pink shimmery shade um just over the tip of the nails like i said to cover up that like kind of like messed up you know marbly poly gel that i put on the tip of the nails um and the color i put on there is i lust you just a thin layer of it um, and now I'm going in with a layer of base gel on all of the nails to apply the decals. It's good to put a layer of base gel on your nails because when you apply that um, decal on your nails, it'll, they'll just like lay flat into the gel and you can like cure them in place. Um, these go on the nails really, really nicely. You don't have to like cut slits in them or anything. So yeah, I'm basically just lining up the nails and making sure that the letters um, go evenly across the nail. You don't want them to be like higher than the other one because then it won't look right. And I almost got confused because the U and the V on there looked exactly the same, but I guess they are the same. So yeah, this hand has love and the other side I put baby on it. So after the nails are cured, I'm just going to go ahead and encapsulate all the nails with my McCart Clear Poly Gel. As always, you guys know how much I love McCart Clear Poly Gel. If you guys have not tried it yet, you are definitely missing out. It is super clear. It's like the clearest poly gel on the market. And it just makes every set look so bomb and like, it's just that like crystal clear. I don't know. I just have not come across any other poly gel like it yet. But yeah, I'm just encapsulating the nails. I was having a little bit of a hard time squeezing the poly gel out of the bottle because I was getting low on it. I use this a lot. I really do need to get one of those um, tube squeezers. But yeah, I'm basically just squeezing the poly gel on the nail in the form. I did kind of end up putting too much because I was having a hard time um, squeezing the poly gel out. So I was removing some of it, but I was just putting the excess poly gel on my palette so that I can mix that um, for the other side of my nails with the white to make the milky white clear um, so it wasn't like going to waste or anything like that. But yeah, basically I am starting by the cuticle. By the way, I'm using um, a slip solution that I already have by McCart. You can use that or um, 90 or 70% isopropyl alcohol. You can even use base gel as a slip solution if you guys were wondering. But yeah, I just start by the cuticle and like pat side to side all the way down the nail it's super simple um and i just remove any excess at the tip but before i cure i do take my brush and like smooth out the nail try to smooth out like as many bumps as you can um it will just help so much in the end when you go to like file and that's the great thing about poly gel is that you have that time to work with it before you like cure it in place unlike with acrylic it's pretty much like set in stone after it dries Okay, so now moving on to the filing, I'm going to be um, debulking the nails first and I'm using my Melody Suzy 2-in-1 um, e-file and dust collector which will be linked down below if you guys are interested in this as well. 
I love this thing. I use it in every video. It's just like heaven sent. It sucks up all the dust and it doesn't get in my face. I cannot stand when nail dust gets in my face. And you would think, you know, it wouldn't bother me because I'm a nail tech. But one thing that I cannot stand about doing nails is dust. And like it literally gets everywhere it just drives me insane that's the one thing that i hate about doing nails is the dust it gets all over my shirt my freaking pants everything in the room it seems like but yeah this dust collector definitely helps because it like sucks up a lot of that dust if you guys haven't tried a dust collector yet you definitely should because a lot of that dust um you're breathing in when you're filing your nails so it's really good to have a dust collector but yeah, anyways, I'm going to be using this drill bit um, that actually came with the Madame Glam Advent Calendar. I forgot how good this drill bit is, but I think it's like either a medium or fine grit. Um, it's like a ceramic safety bit, um, which I really like. It just takes off the product like nothing. Like it literally took me less than like 20 minutes to finish filing this hand. And that's good for me because I'm usually slow as heck at doing my nails. But yeah, um, I'm just debulking with it and it's just taking that product down like a breeze. Um, and the thing about ceramic drill bits that I like is that they don't really heat up on your nails as much as like the regular metal ones. Um, so yeah, that's just a little FYI if you didn't know. Um, I've been really liking them lately because of that. But yeah, I'm just going around the cuticle as always and just like smoothing over the entire nail. Um, just to like smooth out any bumps and also like I'm um, taking in the sides and going underneath the nail um, And then after this I'm gonna take my cuticle bit um, From a car which I do have those drill bits linked down below as well um, under the products I use for Amazon um, And I do have my nail tips linked down below. These are the long c-curve nail tips um, I do want to mention when I file I do kind of file like underneath the nail to remove some of that c-curve um because i'm not really too much of a fan of like c-curve on myself because it kind of makes my hands look fat when i have really <laughs> like deep c-curve nails so that's how i kind of get like my signature shape is i kind of remove some of that c-curve but i really love these nail tips because there's no other ones that i really try that are shaped like this they have the shape it's just that the c-curve i just remove it a little bit just to give it that really nice, you know, straight shape, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm just going around the cuticle with my cuticle bit now to remove like any excess product around that area. I'm doing it on a low speed. I know it looks aggressive, but this video is super sped up. So make sure you use your cuticle bits on a low speed and you can take your nail and feel around the cuticle um, to make sure that you sealed properly. If your nail catches anything, then you know you have to keep filing um, because you have lifting so yeah after that I'm just gonna take my hand file and shape up the nails I'm doing a long coffin so I'm gonna be taking my hand file and holding it straight against my nail to debulk like the nail in the middle and I do that a couple times on each side and then I angle my file in to get like the coffin shape I also do file underneath the nail to get out like any of the excess nail tip also like over the surface of the nail if I feel like I have to smooth it out anymore and then to file the free edge I do like hold the file at an angle and then file straight across you can do that or like straight up and down whichever you prefer after that I'm just gonna buff over the nails to get out any scratches before I do my nail art
And finally, to finish up the design, I'm going to start by painting the little roses. And these are super easy to do, guys. Like, it literally requires little to no effort. So yeah, I'm starting off by actually making little blobs on my nails. And yes, I mean blobs. You don't have to make these neat. Like, literally just draw blobs on your nail. We're basically turning nothing into something, okay? At first, I wasn't sure how this was going to come out. So I was really taking a chance. <laughs> making these blobs on my nails but yeah um basically just make the blobs you know wiggle your brush a little bit i do have these brushes linked down below this is like a set that comes with like five brushes they each have like a different size brush and then like a dotting tool on the other side they're under the products i use from amazon i've been using these brushes literally since i started doing nails i don't know why but i just gravitate towards them more than any of my other brushes so yeah, just make your little blobs and kind of like wiggle your brush and then go ahead and cure that. Now I'm going to be taking a lighter um, pink shade called Nine and a Half Weeks from the Naked in Love Poly Gel Kit um, to draw like the little um, kind of like circle in the middle of the roses and then like kind of just draw like little lines like inside the rose to kind of make it look like a rose and then outline the outside wiggling your brush you know to make it look like a rose it's really not hard um by the way for like the base on the roses i use basic instinct from the um messy and in love gel polish set so yeah i'm just like making lines inside the roses and this is how you turn the blobs <laughs> into roses like i said we turn nothing into something um so yeah you always want to go in with a lighter color to kind of like highlight Okay, so I did cure the nails for 60 seconds to make sure that all the gel was cured. And now I'm going in between like the little petals that I drew with the I Lust You glitter and just like kind of like um, drawing more petals, like glittery petals on the inside. And this basically just tied the roses together and just made everything go together because the base glitter on the nails is that I lust you and it just made everything kind of just flow nicely in my opinion um, so after I apply that glitter I'm gonna be um, taking this dark green gel polish this is not by McCart this is actually a model ones gel polish in the color Christmas tree and I'm just drawing like tiny little leaves randomly on the roses they don't have to be neat or anything um, I didn't want them really big because I wanted the main attraction to be the lettering on the nails, obviously, um, and the roses. So I'm just making tiny little um, leaves and then I'm going to cure those and just top coat the nails. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this set. I love the way they turned out. This is one of my favorite Valentine's Day sets so far. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, let me know what your favorite color was from these kits, what your favorite kit was. And yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified when I do upload. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go ahead and do that because I always post about my upcoming tutorials and stuff like that on there. 
And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.